So this is exciting. It's a little terrifying. Uh, we're going to be taking a look today at what that means to be entering a brave new world. This is a world that is full of possibilities. You want to be ready. And I'm going to ask you, are you ready for the kinds of things that are coming into your future? Like, are you ready to bake a cake for your kid's 100th birthday? Are you ready to consider where to go for spring vacation with your family and pour over brochures between Puerto Vallarta and perhaps Mars? Are you ready for a time in which all you have to do is lean back and control your vehicle, your home, your environment, just through thoughts alone? What you need to know is that the science that supports that picture is already here today. This is not fantasy. We actually have the capacities and capabilities to do that now. These are potentials that we study to see how they impact where you are going. So I'm going to tell you a secret. I'm a futurist. And our very first uh, secret is that we do not divine the future by looking through uh, a crystal ball. What we do is we study current trends, current events, for clues about what's pushing the future in new directions. Your clue today is to know that you are in that picture, that kind of wild, fantastical picture, holds a place for rural cooperatives, for nuclear and coal and even gas and oil in some ways, certainly hydrogen, biomass, and much more. What we'll do today is to take a look at some scenarios and some stories to help you create a path and make a map to a brave new world, your brave new world. What I want you to do is to start with the assumption, because this is the key to strategic thinking, is that anything is possible. We will look first at the forces that are pushing the future in new directions. These are key aspects that if we look at these themes, we'll be able to extrapolate and invent scenarios that will tell us a little bit what energy may look like. Certainly the environment we know now through Pakistani earthquake, through Katrina, through Rita, through the tsunami, that any debate about whether there's global climate change can be put to rest. This is something that would have enormous impact is already, and it is a reality that we are clearly not prepared for. We need to factor it in to how it will impact your community and your strategy. We'll take a look. The GRIN technologies. GRIN stands for genetics, robotics, information technology, and nanotechnology. Cumulatively and together, these technologies are reinventing the capacity for what it is to be human. They are redefining what life itself looks like. When we do that, everything else shifts. Society shifts, law shifts, our environment shifts, all kinds of things. We will take a look there as well. Global demographics, we are sitting at this time at an unprecedented teeter-totter where in global demography, we have industrialized nations that are looking one way as they getting older, the rest of the world getting younger, and that's where most of the population is. Within 10 to 15 years, when that combines with the flattening effects of the technology, such as Thomas Friedman wrote about in his great book, The World is Flat, we may see a shift in power within 10 to 15 years that, again, will surprise us in ways that we don't really have an understanding for at this time. And lastly, tribalism. You know, birds of a feather flocking together is not new at all. But what we have now is that as we have the kind of converging and uh, miniaturization of the world, as we can come together in all kinds of new ways, there tend to be a diaspora. People are congregating around tribes of shared values and interests in ways that they can live and relate across time and space. They no longer have to do it in physical communities. And people are doing that in very strong ways and across the world in ways that are really shifting the market, as we will see. 